Hey, this is the Fence Man with the Fence Man exclusive here on Top Rope TV. Right now I'm with uh, James uh, Fraser. Fraser. So James, how did you get into doing the uh, commentating anyway? Uh, well, I trained long ago, way back in the day, under a guy named The Perfect Creation, Rich okay. Criado, uh, who trained under Off of the Wild Samoan. Um, and that was back in college, which would be like 99 for me. Uh, was out of it, you know, had the rest of my life happen. And then um, a friend of mine I was on a commentary team, his friend was going to be sick. And they were like, hey, you want to fill in, knowing how much of a fan I was, how hardcore I was. And uh, yeah, I just jumped on it. and. They haven't uh, been able to keep me away since, basically. Do you have any uh, any, any uh, inspiration that you look up to? Any uh, commentators? As far as commentary, yeah. I mean, obviously JR is very yeah, much my, really my generation good. of guy. Um, I love Joey Styles. Um, looking backward, I like uh, Gordon Soli quite a bit. Uh, Lance Russell. Uh, I watch a lot of old school stuff. Um, even some of the Japanese commentators who I couldn't name for you. Uh, but I remember the one very famous All Japan Pro Wrestling commentator working under Giant Baba's organization uh, would scream his lungs out when something awesome happened and he would just ratchet it up and up and up um, to the point where at the end of the match this guy was just going atomic and I love that. Uh, do you have any favorite matches that you've called before? Oh gosh, you know, um, the first one that just comes to mind uh, really was in uh, Keystone Pro Wrestling or maybe it was LCW at the time still, uh, but I think it was some sort of crazy hardcore blowout with like Shatter and uh, Hollywood's Finest and all those guys and like Shatter did a splash off the, the second deck at the, the Lancaster Post Convention Center um, through a table. It was just so crazy and I, I was emulating that guy kind of. I was just screaming at the end and just blew out my voice. So I went back to the work the next day, sounded like, you know, a 20 year cigar smoker or something. Um, yeah, yeah, anything really technical I like. Uh, it's not a big big martial arts fan, uh, martial arts in general. Um, I like what you might call shoot style stuff. Um, so I like to get my teeth into that, but I also like doing comedy a lot. So, yeah, things like that. So, do um, you have any dream matches that you'd like to call someday? No, it's never occurred to me. Um, I mean, the bigger the better, obviously. Um, but, uh, yeah, I mean, for me, it's, it's just a, I don't really expect to get to another level in this. Uh, I think at my age, and I'm not super attractive or anything like that, I don't think I'm going to get hired to be a vanilla broadcasting guy. I'm perfectly happy to be here at like our independent level. Um, so I just want to have the most fun I can have. That's you know? what it's all about. It's like in, uh, with my buddy uh, Johnny Logan on Top Row TV, he has this uh, hashtag, hashtag Press the Bundle. Uh, uh, it's a uh, okay. letters F U N in capital letters, Press the Bundle. That's what it's all about, having fun and wrestling. Well, uh, thank you, James, and um, thanks for being on the show. Oh, thanks, sir.